Hamish Dodd is away, so he's been very easily replaced, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Hamish. By designer Mal Corboy. Nice to have you back. Oh, it's great to be yeah, back. Yeah, no, it's good to have you. Um, um, modern bathrooms. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're talking about. So yeah. you're sharing some modern bathroom yes. ideas, and then we'll talk about some do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts, and go over it a little bit because there's more bathrooms in a house than a kitchen, really. So actually, you're right. And the, I'll tell you what, bathrooms and kitchens, two of the most important rooms to get right. So let's do some learning. Yeah. Um, I think we should just start taking a look at some of the fantastic yeah. bathrooms you've done, and yeah. you can talk well, us through them. Easy. Them. Yeah. So, Okay, so the Let's first one we've got here. So this is a ensuite that we did in Melbourne a couple of years ago. So it's sort of still on trend a little bit, but it's you know. But one of the things I love is that you can see how the freestanding bath is away from all the walls. Yes. Yeah. So if we go to do's and don'ts, what I hate seeing is freestanding baths shoved up against the wall where right. you can't so clean them. How can you clean, clean You can't it? clean it behind. Yeah, and thank so, you. So that's away from the walls. And another area there we've done is tiling all the way to the ceiling. Right. So it makes the bathroom feel a lot bigger and gives it dimension. Yeah, that looked like yeah, a very a impressive ensuite. Yeah. What about this one? This that's, is like a little powder room. Yes, it's a little powder room. So it's off the hallway. It's for guests. So I've just tried to make it a little bit funky. There is a shower in there as well because they do have a swimming pool. Um, little things that we've done there. We've taken the bench top right the way through from wall to the, to the um, shower. But we've made the cabinet a little bit smaller so you can get in behind there and clean. Because once again, bathrooms, you get a lot of moisture, you're getting a lot of dust and stuff that comes through. They get through. a lot of grot. They get a lot Those, of grot. Those um, bowls sitting on top of the bench tops, that's still on trend, obviously. Is uh, that going we away We are soon? moving a little bit more to the integrated bowls, which we'll see a couple come through in the later photographs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they, you know, it's, it, it's bathrooms are very personal. That's what people, for bathrooms, it's a personal space. Kitchens are a public space, so not very many people go into your ensuite or into your bathroom. They sort of stay away from those sort of areas. Yeah. So whatever suits you is nice. what you do. Well, so what's this one? Well, this is really cool. So this is just a job really finished now. It's a stately villa in Cambridge. Um, and what we've done, this is a kid's bathroom. So we put in, it's a very traditional <laughs> Lucky villa. kids. <laughs> so we put in the old claw bath that you saw there. Um, very traditional cabinetry, bevelled mirrors. Nice. So it's really a bold statement in the black and white. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's very traditional, isn't it, with that black and yeah. white? Oh, kids' yeah. bathroom. That's a kids' bathroom. Oh, yeah. Have a They're bathroom lucky, like that. lucky kids. Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> right, and this bathroom. And, and here, what this at? is a parents' ensuite in the same house. So <laughs> this is this is super high luxury. end. we've got Carrara marble tiles, floor to ceiling. We've got once again the same theme of the bevelled mirror. I've taken the shape of the bowl and and recreated that in the corner, so that sits above the cabinetry. Nice. It's all white. Their whole house is black and white. Um, and we've got some other photos of other parts of the area if they want to have a look later. Oh, oh my And this is looking down. So this is what, you know, this is luxury. The toilet's hidden away by a little nib wall, so you're not seeing people sitting on the loo. We've got two lovely bowls that people like. We've got the shower there that's got both shower heads, his and hers, and we've got the rain head in the middle. Because guys love a rain head shower, yeah. whereas women tend to like more of a um, slide well, we shower. We like the one that we can actually do it without getting our heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and every time I do a job, the guys always want a rain head. And the, the girls like a slide shower. All these things you've got to stop think drawing. about. I know, stop I know. Stop drawing, look at their bathroom. I just want to quickly ask about floor to ceiling tiles. Yep. If you can afford it, should you do it? You should always do it. Right. And there's many options in tiles, from um, more affordable ones to really upmarket ones. And it, what it does, it creates the room looking bigger and sticking to the one sort of style of tile too actually helps. So if you, you're doing a tile on the floor which may be a marble, do marble up the walls and it just makes the whole room feel so much bigger and so much more luxurious. OK, so we've got a couple more pictures, which, yep. oh, that's nice. That's so neat. this is another ensuite, and this is where we've done, we've done timber veneer on the cabinetry. Um, we've done a feature tile down the end of the shower, and so that's just get, moving a little bit of interest as opposed to having it all... So there's no real rule. You can do whatever you want. Well, and nice. once, once again, we've put in some nice... And this is another one from a different job. And what we've done here is taken the shower. You can see the shower goes yeah. all the way to the ceiling. So it's keeping all the moisture in that shower closet. And so you know, I really like too, the double sinks. Oh, what yes. I wouldn't yeah. give to have my own sink with all my stuff I around it. Every client I ever see wants a double sink. Sometimes their vanity's only 1,200 long and we can't do it. But that's the one request. They all like a double sink. OK, now they're trying to wrap me, but I really want to get something out of you. Uh, yep. What would be your top tips? Top tips? Don't have a bath if you don't need it. Yep. A lot of times baths are a waste of time in small especially in apartments yeah. you don't really need it uh, make sure your tiling is done properly and by a professional waterproofing's a must you must have it properly waterproof and please don't put a, a freestanding bath up against free walls that you can't get around it nice perfect <laughs> thank you, you so go. much yeah awesome great ideas yeah. and thank you very much for those tips yeah. thank you